hey guys welcome to the channel so my name is Sipo Georgia and I'm a final year mechanical engineering student and I'm on my way to go interview one of the engineers on the team that created the world's first I'm um, oh no, no actually the world's largest solar powered Tesla About the car or the butterfly? <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> so, um, just tell them your name. So, my name is Martin Baumler. I'm an engineer from Switzerland. I helped to build the butterfly, which you can see behind me. It's a huge trailer which is equipped with solar panels to charge the car which is pulling it. We are able to sleep inside the butterfly. There is a kitchen, there is a living room, sure. uh, there is even a shower and a fridge. Yeah. And so, we are basically off grid. Yeah. Um, we can charge the car just with the power of the sun and then drive for about 200 kilometers if you drive carefully. Yeah, yeah. If you drive fast, then uh, maybe more to 150. Yeah. It makes a lot of fun to drive this car. It's uh, one of the only Tesla Model X here in South Africa at the yeah. moment. Yeah. Or the only one, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah pretty there much. Is another, another Tesla here, Model 3. Yeah. Has a crazy acceleration, crazy power, about uh, up to 700 horsepower. This car, 670 something like that, uh, 2.5 tons, sure. and the trailer 3 tons. With up, with us inside, with all the equipment, yeah. The whole package with, uh, behind me is about six tons heavy. Um, yeah, and so we are traveling around the world. We have been in uh, over 40 countries so far. Uh, we have crossed over 77,000 kilometers. Sure. Uh, yeah, so pretty crazy adventure. So I'll have one question. So just yes. on, so it looks very big, the whole solar panel. It is big. So is there plans to like, make it smaller and more compactable? Yes. Or if yes. you could sort of fit it on the car itself, yes. is that possible? I mean, or? we are not really promoting to copy the exact same what you can see behind me. Oh, okay. Um, so this is this is just a prototype for us. Yeah. If we would build it again, I think we would pay huge attention uh, to build it smaller. Uh, because yes. with that, it's very difficult to drive through narrow roads, narrow spaces, especially here the campus was a bit challenging. And it also will be challenging to exit it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see uh, how far we go. Um, but yeah, we would, uh, we would build it lighter and smaller, yeah. um, if possible. But on the other hand, it was also it is also very nice to have more space inside there. Yeah, definitely. So it's a bit of a trade-off. Uh, so yeah. some area have to get a trade-off. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. From, uh, from uh, the back. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And then in terms of storage, so like let's say there's not a lot of sun, Good. then yeah. what happens? Let's go. Storage? Like this. So on days where there's no sun, do you have ways to store the energy that you've captured from solar? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I mean, normally, on the inside. Oh, okay. Normally we should charge the car directly, yeah. but there is a five kilowatt hour battery in the back of the butterfly of the trailer. Yeah. And we use that for the kitchen, for cooking dinner. Yeah. And start, okay. And yeah. For lights and yeah. switch. Yeah. So. Um, just as an end note, like firstly I'd like to say thanks to University of Pretoria because it's really cool that we get opportunities like this. Um, and I think it's very important that we actually get to see stuff like this, especially in South Africa and Africa. Because as you guys know, um, in South Africa we have issues like load shedding. And so if you want to bring an electric car like Tesla into South Africa, well, number one, you're going to have to charge that electric car somehow. And if there's issues with the electricity, you know, like let's say there's no power, how are you going to charge your electric car during those times? So I think this um, initiative, they call the car the solar butterfly, um, where you find, you use solar power, you know, just to, um, to actually charge the vehicle and just it's it's just it's such a good concept you know and I think it's it can be used 
in a South African context, you know, it can be tweaked and used to be to work, especially for Africans, you know. Or you can make a sustainable way of bringing electric cars to Africa. So I'm very passionate about that. But it was very nice to talk to the to one of the engineers, and I hope you guys liked the video. Um, there's a LinkedIn post. Um, the University of Pretoria put up a LinkedIn post, so you can go check out the details about the car there. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yeah.